means though this is going to be an exciting one and we're going to jump right into the action very quickly here paratroopa versus wired wiki man i don't know what to expect here i've been doing a lot of predictions as you guys know throughout the tournament but i think i've just kind of kept quiet during a lot of these past couple matches <laughs> Yeah, Paratrooper looking in good form. That was good mix in with the combos that got Lakitu topped off because of the column on the left. So very nice 14 second time from him. Very well executed and exactly what you want to see. Not many times from Lakitu go sub 15. So it's not going to give you too much of an advantage, obviously, since it's early game. But... Uh, it's going to give you a little bit of momentum probably starting off here, like knowing that you can just get pull off a fast time like that. But uh, Wiki's going to respond pretty quickly back afterward. Yeah, Pear is still rolling here though. 21 second on Bumpy, continuing his good form throughout the first two stages. Still going, Paratroopa didn't know when to cut that one off, just why not, just keep going, and it's still going to be a 17 second for that Poochie. Yeah, this man That's is on fire on right one. now, dude. He He's just shown, like, the amount of analytics he's done on his entire gameplay, because I've seen him type in the chat, like, every other day or something, and he just, like... Found something more that he tried to improve upon over and over. And I think he's just now trying to find that perfect balance, though. A couple miss swaps there. Still was a decent amount sent on Wiggler here. He, he would have needed to send a lot anyways. And this follow-up's going to drop at the perfect Ooh. time. This time lags. Beautiful. So I, I would be scared if he manages to beat Wiki here. Paratroopa's just only been improving, but that's that's a big if right now, because Wiki's still staying with them side by side right now, maybe going to be able to get the kill. Oh, a yep, couple um, frames, Wiki though. with the one more line. He's been pretty much I'm matching him right now. Lines. Yeah. Comes Paratrooper battling right back though. Pretty good starter here. Quick to follow up right afterward. One thing that I notice he does do is he is very aggressive with his stack and he finds his clears very, very quickly. So he usually gives himself plenty of options even if he does drop a chain here or there. So he sacrifices maybe that one or two seconds of startup at the beginning to for the consistency. But Wiki will play slightly more aggressive, raise his stack just a tad less to find his clears, and look at that, it's gonna pay off for him with the 15 second kill on Froggy. Yeah, and with that, we're pretty much even here. Just a few frames. Oh, Paratrooper! 10 combo, just falling into place! So many blocks to work with, but that just happens. That's just sometimes how it works when you go for broke like that. Yeah, my man I like it. could have died instantly like two seconds into the match, but since he gave himself that many panels, dude, things just fell in place, and look at this. Blarg absolutely crushed 25 oh, seconds yeah. in, dude. <laughs> Blarg is squished. But you know, that's not going to phase Wiki at all, dude. He's just going to be two seconds behind there. Keep in pace with Paratroop, but he's like, you can send all of this pressure here, but I'm going to do it just slightly quicker and end up getting the same times, if not, a little bit faster. Here comes Paratroop, a big 8-chain. He's extending this out, a 9-chain. Yeah, Once again, going to absolutely really bury his opponent. Fighting. Oh... 
Yeah, I'm fortunate those greens were in a pretty favorable position for Launchfish there. And now Wiki's going to be taking his first lead of this match so far. But because of that big chain, just its presence being there, Paratroop was able to find the follow-up not short or not too long afterward. Definitely what I expected. Wiki! Oh! <laughs> that oh, little combo Wiki. garbage fell very quick yes. at the end. 12 Preventing seconds, Preventing the one more line. Just a bit of luck there. You don't see many Raphaels in that quickly. That's definitely one of our fastest of the tournament so far. Wiki entering this cave at about five and a half minutes. Paratrooper gonna be on that sub six pace as well. This is gonna be a tight one till the end. Wiki very quick on that send at the beginning here, but Hookbill's finding chains and just plenty of clears to delay this. And going to be one line short once again here, but this is a five chain follow up that's going to come afterward. Yeah, Hookville's still doing chains on Wiki's side. He's going to down stack a little bit of shake, but still not enough time for him to survive. Meanwhile, Hookbill on Paratroopa's side. S seven chain could potentially give Paratroopa troubles. He sent quite a lot of garbage here, though. I gotta think, unless something lines up in Hookbill's favor, which it does not immediately here, he should be dead. There, he'll have to go into stack lowering mode. He didn't have time for that, man. He just <laughs> he evaporated. I'm noticing Wiki's. Not really going for uh, as many chains as uh, as Paratrooper. Para seems to uh, get around the seven chain area, whereas uh, Wiggy is doing much shorter ones paired with combos. And this is where it can be pretty dangerous, actually, in this late game. I don't know, it can go either back and forth. You can have those really quick kills if you send those quick barrages of combos at the beginning. But if you're a little bit short or the opponent manages to find a clear and clears all the pressure you sent, you can find yourself in a really bad situation. Because especially with like Kamek and Bowser, they'll continue to chain on you over and over, induce all that lag, and the match could be extended for a while. But so far it's working out for Wiki. He's going to have a lot of it fall quick here. And oh, perfect. Oh, perfect. It all falls into place. Yeah, and that, that's the trade-off, just like I mentioned. Kill. If you do pull it off right, just like with what Wiki did there, no stop time for Kamek, and even though that clear was one swap away, gets a very nice sub-20-second kill, and he is in a very good spot now. Wiki, he had the greens lined up, but look at that. Those were the only greens on his entire board down there. That's pretty unlucky. He had the right idea, and he was, like, scanning the rest of the field for something, but he couldn't do it. That's going to disrupt a little bit of his momentum. A good amount on Bowser, but with pair troop of sub-30 on Kamek, this is going to be pretty even right now. And look, Wiki, did he have enough of a follow-up? No, he's got to deal with all this lag coming in now. So this is basically oh, yeah. a tied game now. Yeah, Paratroop has got a good chance here. Oh, he's oh, racing again. it again, dude. Going, <laughs> going for the... This guy's a madman, dude. He does not slow down one bit as this he match plays, goes on. He plays like me. I, I very much like the stack to the, to the top. Bowser just manages to find that clear last second. Wiki's gonna have him all not topped off, actually. He's still trying to go through this garbage right now. And Paratroopa has a good amount sent to Bowser as well. Wiki's still one line short. Can Paratroopa steal this with this follow-up dropping right now? He oh, drops the blues oh, and that's gonna be he it. Does. <laughs> Parad takes the lead back right at the end. Oh, wow, I can't believe that, man. Bowser, dude, he'll turn the tide of it, any match, and it was just 
Wiki being a little bit short, and he had to be on the unfortunate end of Bowser sending two big chains to him, so he had to take all this time if he wanted a good follow-up. But yeah, that's just this game. Sometimes I've seen that situation plenty of times, and yeah, it there's been way too reasons. many coming down the Bowser. It's the equalizer. Wiki going to get this crush kill though, only a little bit above 10 minutes. That was a, a very close race throughout though. And yeah, as I mentioned, man, Paratrooper just playing hot. I can just tell the amount of confidence he's playing with it, it, just by him raising the stack all the way to the top because he hasn't died yet and he's like comfortable with it. Because when you raise it all the way up, you still don't have that much time to react. You got to get that clear in. And it's just as easy to drop like literally your first chain if you're going for something a little bit flashy but yeah fair troop but man what can i say he just played very consistently for that whole race yeah he's he's got to be feeling really good about himself right now and going into this next match i would definitely give the edge still to paratrooper it's tough, man. Wiki's had a very good run throughout the tournament, finishing first in his pool. And I think he had like a top five or top six average time uh, throughout group stage. Of course, bracket stage is a whole different beast. But I don't know. Yeah, Paratrooper with this momentum, man. He, he beat Devolution Derby in the first round, and then he knocked out Shadow in the first round of losers. So... He's had some good wins, almost managed to take a game off cards as well. He's got the experience, he's got a lot of the momentum here. It's It would not shock me at all to see Paratrooper win, but I'll give my little fun prediction, uh, <laughs> as I would normally do, and I think Wiki could still make this yeah. comeback. Alright, good, we got some diversity here, I like that. Because Wiki... He he had that. It just came down to Bowser at the end, so he was just playing very very well. And then one drop can cost you your whole <laughs> match there. But look, he very good start here. Gonna get that lag chain at the very end. Two combos mixed in. That's going to be eight lines of garbage. And I don't think Lagatu is gonna be able to do anything. Well, yep, look at that. that was just executing <laughs> just like he did last time. These guys, neck and neck at the beginning here. Paratroopers sent a big chain at the beginning, and that right pillar, like two, wasn't able to get down, so. These guys not feeling like a two so far in the beginning of this game. It's pretty uh, uncommon. I think three of the four like twos we've seen have been sub 20, where Wiki's other like two at the beginning was just like in that 20 second range. And now Wiki just continuing with this momentum 16 second here. He's going to keep on cruising. Bear Troop, on the other hand, he's just been a little bit slower here and there. That's a good way to see this match. If you're losing time each stage, at least it's only in like little intervals that's easy to make up at the very end. Wiki with the good send at the beginning here. Is it going to be enough as it falls, though? Because Pushy down stacking all the way, but look at that frame perfect kill there. The block <laughs> didn't have enough time. Pretty unfortunate clear on Paratroopers. And no chain is going to be falling into place, though, so this should lead into the kill. There it is. I like that card. It's being behind him, Bowser, and winning is now called an Edo. I think we'll have to coin that term for the rest of the tournament. Oh my god, Wiki, chill, dude. <laughs> He's getting these very quick sins to all his opponents. Everything's been sub-20 so far. He finished uh, Wiggler at 205, dude. This guy is just feeling it right now, man. Losses only fuel him, as we saw... Uh, I believe it was yeah. in a set versus Cozy Pocket, dude. Those guys were just trading back and forth. Paratroop is definitely struggling here just a bit. First time that we've seen it all match. Not quite able to top him off. A weak follow-up. 
course, classic commentator's curse coming in as soon as I praise Wiki for his hot start. Now he's been struggling as well here to find his follow-up. Going for a little bit of combo spam, that's still not going to be enough to top off Froggy. So here's Paratroopa's moment to make back all that time that he missed during the first four stages here. Yeah, and now that shake is the chain at the top, still not topped off, gives him enough time. He goes for the blues rather than the purples, though, so a little bit of, of a break for Wiki there at the end. But look at this, good opportunity for Paratroopa. He's going to get this sub-20. So yeah, just like that, Wiki had a very good lead build up there. You could say by close to like 30 to 40 seconds at the end of stage 4 when Paratroopa finished, but yeah, now that's been erased to only 10 here in classic Tetris attack fashion. Paratroopa getting these swaps all last second, man. He's looking good. He's just... It's a nice rhythm yeah, to be. Yeah, classic 7. It can look I've, scary, I've but that people... He keeps going. Oh, go ahead, Jake. Sorry. Like... Yeah, I noticed that he keeps going for the uh, the seven chains, using it a lot. It's been working out, man. It's such a consistent option because even if it is a little bit short, your opponent's gotta wait all that time for the panels to clear. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> but yeah, I I'm super impressed with Paratroopa's gameplay because I can tell all of his moves are super calculated right now. He knows that. Uh, for his next uh, clear in the chain, he's got to go so much distance, and it seems like he just gets it at the last second every time, and that's just pretty much calculated. He just knows all the time that he needs to end up uh, getting these chains back and forth. But look at this, 36 times on both of the players' screens, oh, man. <laughs> near sync. We've seen a couple sinks so far throughout these first two races right now. Ended up being a uh, snipe from Paratroopa during that game one, as we saw. Up in the air, who may have that lead late in the race this time. Oh, Paratroopa with the quick send. He had a chance there. This three, or four chain rather, at the top here is gonna give a lot of lag though. So he's gotta get lucky to get the kill. And yeah, just too much shake time there. Or else he could have been getting a nice mid 20 second fight. But Wiki, a little bit shaky on his send at the beginning here too. And Rafael's just gonna keep trying to go for clears here and down stack. And he's one line short, dude. Because of that, man, Paratroopa, he's just been pretty consistent. You know, a couple 30s here and there, but he's made up for it with some other quick times. Still able to get the sub-6. Wiki has cooled off. The first four stages are a completely different story than these past four, man. It's just a little bit short here and there. Maybe a couple trolls as well. And now Wiki looking to go into the cave at about six and a half minutes as Raphael's still finding clears. possible now a little bit of shake from that top garbage block but there's no clear immediately goes for the purples and not enough time so wiki getting through at a minute and 28 seconds but look he's it looks like he's only one stage behind but paratroopa is likely to get this kill yep and a one stage kit or lead can be kind of crucial like obviously trolls are more likely to happen during the cave but I would say the person with a one-stage lead is still at a huge advantage because, you know, there's only four stages left at the start of the cave. And so if you're able to just, you know, get those decent 20 and 30 second kills, they don't even have to be super fast. You're more than likely going to keep your lead because your opponent's got to bank on getting these ridiculous uh, kills as well. But, well, that's the start for Wiki. <laughs> Speaking of ridiculous kills. Very nice. 22. For a hook bell. Paratrooper is going to completely top off uh, Naval. That is one big garbage block. It's yep. not going to drop a chain, so this could probably kill, though. Alright, 
So Paratroop is still looking good. Wiki going to drop this five chain with some decent garbage at the top. This could be a kill as he's dropping chains. There it is. <laughs> well, like I said, you might need a, a miracle to catch up with the one stage lead, but Wiki is giving it to us right now. Two super quick stages and he's brought it back within 10 seconds already, man. This is looking more and more like it, it's just going to come down to Bowser, like it always does. Good old Bowser, man. And yeah, maybe Paratroopa feeling the pressure now. He had a really tough time trying to get what he wanted started here at the beginning. He's going to get this next chain, but look at Wiki! 17 seconds on Kamek oh. now, dude, this cave is insane! Kamek usually not that generous. Very surprised. Oh, this is always one, like, he'll be happy if he wins this race, but it's always a little frustrating at the end. If he gets, like, a super quick Bowser, he could potentially get a 9-minute time, and he was, like, heading into the cave at about 7 minutes. So this end game has been really ridiculous. Gonna get that six chain at the start here. A good amount on Bowser, way better than last time. Nice two chain and six combo follow up. What's this going to do to Bowser as he's down stacking? Gets the green clears. Still looking for more, gets the chain here. Let's see how this falls at the bottom. The noodles at the top, and that's gonna do it. <laughs> Wow, what a cave for Wiki at the end, man. We didn't see the person having the lead into Bowser end up, uh, like, choking at the end, but pretty much Wiki was at a disadvantage state this whole time, and his cave was just beautiful. One of the best caves of the tournament by far. Yeah, I would have to say Wiki... Coming through with the quickie. Caves. <laughs> and there's the barely sub one minute from Paratroopa. So both these guys kind of swapping times. We had the nine from Para and a ten from Wiki the first race. And now it's vice versa for the second one. Makes sense, man. Just a couple stages will always determine this series, and we got ourselves a good one right from the get-go here. One to one. We're gonna see another game five, Jake. I'm thinking so. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe even the mythical game six. <laughs> the way these two are playing. Like at first, it seemed like Para just coming out guns blazing, and then Wiki just coming here showing that. He wants to be in the conversation as well. He's here to play. Both these guys are in great form. Ooh, that's got to feel good, though. At the same time, you got to wonder, did Wiki use up all of his luck there at the end of that uh, cave? Because it was a 22 second to start off on Hookville. Then it was two sub 20 second stages in a row. And then... Was Bowser a 30 or like a high 20? I don't know. It was quick regardless. No, I'm sorry, what? Uh, I'm Bowser. I, was... I forget what the time was for Wiki at the end there. Uh, it was like 58. Uh, I don't think it was... You No, no, no. That was Paratroopas. He had a 59. Wiki's was like a... Uh, it was like a 30 or oh, like a sorry. high 20. Oh, you're good, dude. <laughs> I can't remember stage times like the second after they happen, so I'm like the worst person to try to recall things sometimes. I think I've gone on yeah. rants at, during past matches where I've like tried to recap a couple of the last games as a whole, and then like the whole thing was completely wrong. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's what it, dude. Not only racing this game gets to you, just watching it too, man, because it. Just trying to keep up with both the players, and when they have that many lead swaps and you got trolls happening here and there, man. It even gets into your head as a commentator, and as a, spe as a spectator as well. Alright. Yes, the, the caves giveth, and the caves taketh. 
That's what I would say. Mm -hmm. Let's hope that's not the case for Wiki right now. We got Paratrooper with his pat and <laughs> raise the stack up to the ceiling and hope he doesn't stack die. Stack to the top. <laughs> Dude, he worries me every time he does it. Alright, so Lakitu's going a little bit slower than average, as we've seen the first couple races. Yeah. That's not necessarily a bad thing, because they both finished sub-30 here. Yeah, Paratrooper, like, the, the last two games, he's just been so methodical with the like he do. He's really the one stage in the game that kind of has like a completely different game plan than a bulk of the others because you could say you generally do the same thing from stages two to seven though there are minor differences especially if you're going for pp attempts and then almost yeah. the similarity for the cave as well though the cursor speed coming in it's definitely a different story Paratroopa picking up where he left off though with that 17 second. We could see some lead swaps back and forth in this series right now. That's what it's looking like. And of course, Paratroopa going with the bump deselect right now. Going to sacrifice those few frames to get his oh. character in. That was a <laughs> very dangerous. He didn't have that thing set up there. When you raise this stack, that was a close one. We'll extend this out all the way to an 8. Probably a little bit overkill. But Pucci going and chaining away here. It didn't matter what the chain was going to be. He had those yellows lined up regardless here. Another chain going to fall. A lot of shake going to happen as well. So this is just going to give Pucci a ton of time here. But he breaks his greens. He's going to keep clearing. Hey, maybe it was necessary at the end. The four skill going to end the match eventually here. And for another straight stage here, we got another lead swap. Ooh, Paratroopa uh, a little bit too quick and he got like a... Uh, some swaps breaking his chain at the beginning there, but gets a nice little eight combo. Gonna continue to extend out this chain. This should be very safe here to get the kill on Flying Wiggler. Another A chain, man. This guy has just been yeah, going he's for all so the extensions. Quick to down stack into his chain. It was so close. We almost had another lead swap here. He actually ended up saving time over Wiki, but not enough to get the lead swap. He'll be pretty happy still going into the stage, though. Wiki a little bit slow here at the beginning. Couple of broken swaps as well as Paratroopa. Not the quickest start either, but it looks like he's getting a pretty good follow-up now. Unfortunately, a little bit too slow on his end as well, but that's going to pay off for him. 18 seconds now on Froggy. And we're going to go back to our lead swaps. <laughs> I guess like what you said earlier, Jake, I shouldn't be surprised with how close a lot of these matches are going to be down the road because we're two some of our best competitors in this field. But man, it just, yeah. it still blows my mind because there are some like PB differences between a lot of these players like Wiki and Paratrooper here. But it's obvious that they are on the same level right now. Paratrooper once again going for the big seven chain here. Going to keep Lark topped off. Going to be a little bit of shake here at the top. Lark will have the down stack. Will this be enough to keep him alive? No, it will not. Wiki as well gets those little noodles at the top. Saving time uh, right now. Pretty good uh, chunk. Pretty much keeping it even. This has been uh, one of the closest uh, races so far. Just like keeping it within like 10 seconds. Air Troop, but he has just been on point with his chains right now. Gets the six chain and he'll have that uh, six combo mixed in. So we'll most likely need a little bit more here. 
but this is a potential for a force kill as uh, Lunchfish gets rid of his last couple purples there. Yeah, he's coming in with uh, combo garbage. It's gonna stack very nicely. Oh, I'm still just a little bit. Still not enough though. 31 seconds for Parachupa on Lunchfish. Wiki uh, a little bit short on his end, man. He's just been kind of short uh, in this race. Kind of similar to last race, actually. Just trying to get those starts at the beginning, and his chain kind of breaks early. I don't know if he's trying to go a little bit too more combo focused. Something that uh, I was having trouble with with my previous match as well. And it can get to you, because sometimes you, you want to implement more combos into your start. But if it's causing you to keep dropping your chains here and there. <laughs> kind of like what just happened there on Wiki's end once again. He's going to get a nice... Oh, he got so many six combos though. So that was definitely not like what he's been doing. That was actually a really good series of clears. And this should lead to the kill. There it is. But it can definitely be something to hinder your gameplay here and there. If you just like are only getting those three chains or four chains over and over. So because of that, Wiki going to clean up his first eight pace from what we saw in the last race. If the cave is anything like it was in race two, this is going to be Wiki's win because it's going to be very hard to top something like that. But it's a new race, new RNG man, and it's Tetris attack, so you must be braced for anything. So Wiki with the six chain follow up. Oh, that's actually going to be perfect on his end. He just had that one blue sticking out on Hookville's side. 26 seconds, very good start to the beginning of this run. Is Paratrooper going to be able to get the follow up? Yes, he will. 26 seconds on his end as well. Still keeping it close in the caves. I'm thinking this is looking like another Bowser. I would be shocked if it's not decided by Bowser to say the least here. These guys may not be exactly tied, but they've been getting a lot of uh, very similar or the exact same times on stages here. And I don't see that letting up any right now. The wiki's going to have to dig a little bit deeper here. The initial sin was not enough on Naval, who's going to continue to find clears. He's got to do one more set of uh, garbage sin here as Paratroop has the separated pillars, but he didn't have another garbage block at the top. That could have been a quick kill on his end as well. But I'd say he's in a little bit better of a position on his garbage because he should have a lot of smaller garbage piling up here at the top. Wiki going to come on top first here though with the 41 second. And Paratroopa going to be making up the time with the 35. He had a good start there, Paratroopa, with the two chains going at once. It's always a good strategy that you don't see too many players pull off, but if you... If you have one chain that's set up many stages in advance, go ahead and try to find that second clear. Of course, it gets rid of more resources potentially on your screen, but if you know how to manage it well, man, you can just send your garbage so quickly. Wiki in a kind of good spot right now. These purples are going to line up, and Kamek's still finding chains. Here comes Paratroop Ascend as well, topping off Kamek. No clear immediately for him as well, but he was one line short. Make that one line as well on Wiki's end too. And the second tier comes out from Kamek. Let's see how this garbage falls on the top here. And meanwhile, Paratroopa is going to be able to clean it up. Another second tier on Wiki's end. All right, so now it's Paratroopa's turn. This is his first lead heading into Bowser in this series. The cave has not been too friendly this time around to Wiki, so... His opportunity to take a 2-1 lead in this series, which would be pretty crucial right now. Let's see the garbage still falling on Wiki's in. And oh another second tier for Wiki. 
very unfortunate. And Paratroop is playing this very nice. He's going for gold here. He should probably cut off his chain because Bowser's in a nine. And he could be force yeah, killed, but is, oh, oh no. no. It's just this time there. That was so set up just sitting there asking to be taken. Oh, this could be still a good spot for Wiki though, but... Yeah, oh, you got a real life. Look at that. They're so beautifully aligned there by twos <laughs> in pairs. So Wiki's still going to take it since he had a pretty good lead heading into Bowser there. But that's something you got to be careful, especially in a close race. You got to realize the amount of garbage you sent and see what your opponent's doing for a big chain. Because he could have easily cut that off just by one less chain amount there at the end and been able to get the force kill at the beginning. But, you know, good enough for now. You get the win, so you can't really complain at the end of the day. Wiki going to get that nice Bowser at the end, though. So he kept it close there at the end, tried to storm back. And if uh, Paratroopa was just a little bit trolled there on Bowser because of his overextension, that could have been a really close series at the end. But so far, Jake, your prediction's looking a little bit in the favor of you right now. It's been a close series, as we mentioned. Two to one, though. Paratroopa's got to be feeling good. A little bit of momentum on his side, and he's still got a game to play around with, if need be. Did I say para wiki? <laughs> Dude, that's the uh, the dream hybrid between both of them. I guess Wired Troopa would be pretty cool too. Ooh, Imagine yeah. if we. I like Wired Troopa. <laughs> Imagine if we combine the talents of both, dude. That would be an unstoppable force. I would not want to play against Wired Troopa in the bracket. That's all I'm going to say. What would a Wired Troopa be? Would that just be a, a tur like a Koopa Turtle with a lot of Red Bull? That's what I was about to <laughs> say. I'm like... Dude's just been hopped up on sugar, dude. That's really all it is. <laughs> Some live wire Mountain Dew. I could see it if they ever brought back the old Mario cartoons and had some, like, uh, soft drink sponsorships. You got a Koopa Troopa running around with a can of soda, dude. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, anyways, <laughs> we get into some weird tangents here on stream, but it's all... No, it's good. We got... It has a purpose. Here and there. <laughs> between matches, it's always good. Of course. Dude, I even like bringing them up during the matches, but... We got a good one going right now, man. As we saw Paratroopa up 2-1. He goes with aggressive strat this time around. Actually fortunate that he didn't raise it to the very top like he's done in the past because he dropped his chain at the beginning And he kind of scrambled to find something so that could have been a really quick death on his end But look at that all that shake time going to give lack of two plenty of time to find clears He'll be able oh. to most likely get the kill but wired wiki gonna be coming on top at the beginning You hate to see Wiki to get to around like the f near 40 mark Well, Parrot comes up dry on his initial swaps here. I have to play real quick to get something going. Very reminiscent of race number two right now. Wiki just coming off to that big start at the beginning. Actually, now that we realize that, because that was the uh, match where he had an incredible cave start too, he had like the top four done in 205, and he had the cave in one of the quickest times as well, but it was just that mid game that delayed him so much. So that was that was insane how much his like gameplay changed over the course of that entire run. Yeah, 
so far here we've already seen like wakey just going to a very considerable lead here paratroop was still looking for this follow-up here on poochie and he's just not getting the chains that he wants scrambling around just doing a bunch of clears four combos here and there it's still not going to be enough on poochie wiki has a chance to lap him already and he does with that 24 second yeah this is not looking like a great start for para he is definitely struggling here the most that we've seen throughout all the matches today that he's done he does clean it up there i think that was six four combos at the top there <laughs> <laughs> he's got a burger you gotta layer it up man the opponent will get too full to eat out the rest of it and get the kill but yeah he finds himself in quite a big hole right now Wiki's still looking pretty good. His next sin's going to be enough to top off too. And look at that. Yeah, even if Froggy was able to downstack, there were no clears at all. Wiki's still cruising with these sub 30 second times. Yeah, Para topping him off. Now there's going to be a little bit of screen shake. He's Opting got... for more of the bigger chains here. Okay, he had two lines to lower, it's not going to be enough. He had that second tier to bail him out too, but with that cursor speed, he wasn't going to have enough time. Here goes Wiki again, the very quick send out here at the beginning. Is it going to be enough? Oh, one line short or else that probably would have done it there. But he had a really good send there at the beginning. Yeah, um, oh, lucky on the, the draw with those blocks spawning in. Yeah, for sure. I did. I couldn't blame him. That's probably what I would have done in that position too. That high right pillar, he almost had it there, and it would have been hard to send that additional uh, line of garbage to get that quicker kill. But cleans it up very nicely. Got a good pace here going into lunch fish as paratrooper is trying to claw back. Twenty seconds is a start. Oh, this is looking good for Wakey, yeah. <laughs> There's not many uh, situations in which an AI gets out of the two towers like that, so. Wakey. Not only did he start well, these middle four stages are looking pretty good for him right now. He has a chance for a sub five heading into the cave here. Nice lag chain falling on his screen. Probably going to end it at a six, and look, Raphael raised the stack. This could lead to a quick kill if he stops finding clears here. Meanwhile, Paratroopa did get a 17 seconds, so he's still trying to crawl back. But look, Wiki gets a 17 of his own, and he gets that sub five barely there. Wiki looking really good to tie this series up right now. Oh, Paratroopa, he's on fire himself right now. This looks like a pretty big lead for Wiki, but these past three stages have all been sub-20 right now. And as we've seen throughout the entire tournament, only takes one stage for someone to come back. And Paratroopa, he's got all the momentum right now. Though Wiki has got a good deal of momentum on his side too. The greens are going to be probably able to be cleared here because this garbage is falling late. So Hookbill gets it. He's not going to get anything else here, though, that should kill. All right, so Raphael's good start. Got a lot of panels. Going to start. Yep. Ooh, I can't believe Paratrooper recovered for a sub-six time heading into the cave still. He had a really good mid-game there. And he's been making up some time. We saw, like... It wasn't quite two stage lead, but we saw at a point in time that while Paratroopa was like finishing stage seven, Wiki was starting stage nine. But now he's bringing it back to only a full one stage deficit right now. He's got to clean up this chain that he dropped at the very beginning here. And now he's opting for a bunch of four combos as Wiki sin was pretty good, but he's going to be a couple lines short. Oh, and the purples! Oh, oh he sends oh, it! Just in time! Oh, oh my goodness. The purples wanted to come in so bad. Oh my, that was a scare for Wiki playing really smart and sending that garbage last second. But Paratroopa, man, 22 seconds. He is not going to slow down. He is trying to win the series now. And, oh, 
This could get very close here once again at Bowser if Kamek has anything to say about it. Wiki yeah, doing very good with... That, oh, God. That last one for, for Wiki just it came down to the wire there. Yeah, for sure. If that clear was able to happen, that could have been a pretty long troll. But, oh, sub-20 for Wiki. He's still cruising. He has a potential for a PB right now. I never even thought about this, but... Bowser plays nice, a PB, even a sub-8 right now. Wiki having the oh, run of his life. Cam another the generous Kamek is seen in the uh, the last game. Paratroopa going to be extending this chain out. He's got to drop it right now if he wants this kill, which he's going to do. Perfect's in there. Wiki gets the lag chain. Oh, he's, he's gonna looking so good with that chain. Yeah, I think that was a mistake, but this might end up being good. There's a pillar at the top. Bowser down stacking. Gets the clear. He's got two separated pillars at the top. Bowser drops the chain. Oh, he's down stacking. That's it. That's a PB. 805, dude. Wow. What a time the PB. Holy moly. Wow, good stuff by Paratrooper, man. He was playing out of his mind. He was so close to a sub-8 time. But he's going to get an 805, I believe that was, by a little bit of a late split there. Wiki. I think. <laughs> it's going to be hard to beat times like that in tournament. We saw FFR pull out a sub-8 earlier. Everybody is bringing their A game right now, and yet again, we got another game five that's going to be coming. Oh, uh, did Paratrooper take a death here on Kamek? I missed that. That's definitely one of the best PBs we've seen throughout the bracket. We've had quite a few, actually. I don't think we've seen one in a good amount of time. Well, actually, Raiko PB'd, I think, uh, yeah, he this did. past weekend. That's why I love these tournaments, man. You just see these guys, like, when they can handle the nerves, man, they are just playing so on point, and that's what we saw with Wiki the entirety of that game, dude. Even with the death on Paratroopa's side, he was trying to battle back. And look, he's still uh, fighting Bowser's uh, sub-10 minutes here. And I think that death happened after Wiki got done anyway. So, I don't know if Paratroopa was fully paying attention either. But yeah, even all that time he was trying to make up at the very end here. He just fell a little bit short just because Wiki pulled out that... Very nice cave once again, dude. Wiki just has the cave figured out, it seems. Yeah, I would have to agree. It was that Kamek. Kamek has been doing it for him lately. Those sub-20 times. Definitely nice to not have to deal with a, a troll like that. When did Para switch to Lungefish? I didn't even realize. So he took a death there on Kamek at the beginning, so he wasn't able to play his bump date. That's why he switched over to Lungefish. But yeah, so we got another game five. Let's recap this right now. We had a bunch of matches last weekend, basically, that were piled up. I'm trying to recall everything. We had almost all of our three twos within like the past week, it seems. We had a couple during the winner's quarterfinal stage, but within the last seven days, we had a three two with I Like Being Smart and SK Peter. Uh, a three two with Wired Wiki and Cozy Pocket. A three two with Paratroop and Shadow. A three two with Myself versus FFR. And now we're going to have a 3-2 with Wired Wiki and Paratrooper here. This has been an absolutely, like, crazy past seven days of Tetris Attack. Yeah, when it comes down to 
pretty much the all the uh, the people that are are playing really well as as we're seeing that are still remaining in the main bracket. It's just it's a lot more likely to be so close, and the, you can almost expect that like all of these games are gonna go to five unless the caves do something. So we're we're talking in chat right now, unofficially in 805. Uh Wiki passed up two people, just PBing by six seconds actually. Passes up me and uh Yume becoming the fastest European once again. So good stuff for Wiki, not only keeping himself alive in this tournament, man. Securing a spot as one of Europeans uh, Europe's finest. Wow, just six seconds and you get two places. See, that just shows you how close it is. Oh boy, man. Well, this has been a great set so far. I want to thank everyone for, who's been uh, tuned in for the entirety of this match. It's been back and forth, Wiki pulling off the PB, which I guess I'll update on the stream here pretty soon. But I'm curious what everyone thinks in chat. Jake still got Paratroop and I'm still with Wiki. Who do you guys think is gonna take this set? Yeah, I'd say this one's like a coin flip at this point. That both of them are just bringing it like just, but it's like back and forth. Like one brings it in and the next game the other brings it in. I think Bowser's the ultimate winner here. Yeah, good old Bowser. He likes to determine everything, it seems like. Wiki's had his fair share of pretty good Bowsers right now. And I think we've probably seen Kamek doing more dirty work throughout this tournament. But for sure, you got to look out for those last two opponents because it can sway even the biggest of leads. But here we go. Wiki survived a Game 5 scare in his match right before this in a round. Can he do it again? And Paratroopa, uh, he he survived that Game 5 as well against Shadow. So both of these guys, no stranger to the situation and handling it pretty well. Wiki almost getting a kill to match Paratroopa, but Lakitu finding the clear last second. So Paratroopa with the slight edge to begin. Yeah, I was gonna say Wiki Wiki might have an advantage here, but I forgot Paratroopa with the game five as well, dude. It's like Oh, these guys are crazy. Yeah, I mean we're getting to the point where like everybody has been there in the the two two situation. Ooh, Paratroopa playing this ever. very nice here at the beginning. This big chain not gonna be enough for Bumpty to live, and he had that A combo follow up at the end there too. He was gonna be topped off for a while. Alright, so Wiki's able to follow this up with a 27 second time. The momentum shifts have been crazy in this game. I think they're both riding off a high momentum. As Paratroopa said it in chat, like he took that death, but he was like pleasantly happy with that game. He, he was like, you know what? This was actually a pretty good run. I played really well late game, and you know, he had that game to play with, like we mentioned before. And I think just that attitude, uh, of him just coming so close but just falling a little bit short it's been well for him and then it's that situation where going up against an 805 is going to be really hard to win so he's like well that's my one game to lose there we'll, we'll just accept it and move on so far working out well for him he's got to be careful that oh that was lock. really close on <laughs> paris nearly bit the dust there yeah, he, he's been scaring us so much this set, but he's managed to keep composed and not really panic. Get his stack down or find clears to give him more time. And good follow-ups from him. Squeaking in that sub-30, but the 12 second from the middle pillar on Wiki's side. 
Uh, Jake, I don't know if we've seen this uh, match be tied at all during this series, but uh, <laughs> we got another one. No, here. we have. We, yeah, we, no, we, we've seen it. These guys have just been delivering again and again. Oh. <laughs> And so much, but Froggy's able to get that clear. I think we see a simultaneous clear once again. 25 seconds, a little bit quicker on Wiki's side. Oh, I didn't even notice the chain at the bottom. Almost gave enough time to get the second tier, but Bear Trooper will be able to clean this up at 34 seconds. Four chain six combo. That's going to be the end of oh, Wiki. That nine, that nine combo was cool from Para. Yeah, unfortunately on Wiki's end, he was a little bit too slow, but I can't really blame him there, as uh, Blart really didn't do him any favors. Had that one single pillar that he was able to downstack really easily, and Wiki had to be like so quick in order to get a very fast kill. Still gonna get a 36 and be a little bit ahead here, but is Para gonna be able to match 36 on his screen? But clears are still coming in from Blark here, just trying to survive. Yeah, another purple lining up, just incidental, and that's eventually going to lead him to be uncovered here, and now Paratroopa's gotta do a little bit more once again. Uh oh, this could be crucial, man. Minute stages early on here can cost you a lot of time in the late game and kill your momentum a little bit here. Yeah, Wiki's getting stalled here by Lungfish. Two pillars on Wiki's side, but no stop time at all for Lungfish, so this is going to be a pretty good lead for Wiki, but we've seen Paratroopa, man. Late game, it's maybe been favoring Wiki so far for the majority. But Paratroop has had some late game surges as well. Alright, the garbage falling. Look at all the combo garbage blocks. Perfect on Paratroop's oh. side. Well, that was so good by him. And now he is going to be clawing back a little bit as uh, Raphael doing some chaining, finding some clears. This follow-up should be dropping shortly by Wiki going to top off eventually when he drops it the yellows could be lined up here he's gonna get one last clear but I gotta think the death's going to come now and here comes another seven chain from paratroop uh, I need to count the amount of times he's done seven chains yeah on his I opponent. think that's just his lucky number I'm noticing he's always going for the seven sometimes an eight here and there but yeah Seven is a lucky number, so I wouldn't blame him. He likes to take the time to pick Bump D, so he's got all these good look factors on his side right now. Let's see if it can be enough for him in the end, because Wired Wiki has not been letting up right now. He's got a good send here on Hookville once again. Going into stack lowering and not quick enough to get the greens. Another sub 20 second K5 for Wiki. Just keep tallying it up right now. Let's see how Paratroopa himself is going to be able to do on Hookville. It's got two combos set up in this chain so far. He's actually going to do an incidental swap there, which could end up working out for him. Let's see, his next sin's going to drop pretty shortly too. But Wiki's got a good sin himself, and the yellows are going to be lined up on Hookville's screen. So Paratroopa's got to wait a little bit, and Wiki's got to send a little bit more garbage. All right, that'll do it on Paratroopas in 31 seconds here. Will this be the kill on Wikis? One line short. Naval buying time, but he's going to be crush killed. He ain't got nothing. All right, so Paratroopa, he's clawing back ever so slightly right now. 
Let's see what he can find at the beginning here. Goes for the purple clear at the very beginning. Going to get the greens. Yeah, he cut off his main chain, but got his next clear so quickly to continue to build up that next one. And oh my god, oh, the 12 the seconds! Second Naval! A <laughs> gift from the caves for Para. Oh, that is so needed right now. His wiki is a little bit short on his beginning chain, and he doesn't have a lot of panels. Ladies and gentlemen, it is tied right back up right now, unless wiki can steal quick time. But I think Kamek's gonna continue to chain yeah, and lower Kamek's the stack. Done being generous. Three times in a row, that's a no. Not from Kamek. This could be a potential lead switch right now. There's gonna be a lot of the garbage cleared up on Kamek's side. The left pillar going to be a potential issue on paratroopas. And look at this. Kamek's still and finding Kamek's clears. Stalling. Got chain set up here. Another, yeah, five chain going to drop this time. So enough garbage now for Wiki. But who's is gonna die first? The second tier, an option for Kamek. On paratroopas, he gets to it. Wiki looking to do what to do next. Another second tier happening. And look, the chains lined up just on Wiki's side. Very unfortunate there. Garbage still oh, falling in so place. Panels. Oh, the clear is coming Aaron's in. Aaron's gonna take the lead. <laughs> oh my I'm god, this is you, nuts, it's the caves. Oh, Kamek was just finding so many clears. Kamek. And now, just like that, Paratroopa, he's in the driver's seat to take this game five. Wiki able to clear it up one and a half minutes in, but it, could it be a little bit too late? We'll see how Paratroopa handles it. It's going to be dropped after a three chain, though. He's got to find this follow-up quick. And another three chain. He's got the left oh, pillar. He's got to be careful. That. Oh, this Very is an dangerous. opportunity for Wiki once again, dude, as Paratroopa is going to have to build off of this garbage. Oh my oh, goodness, yeah, this is crazy. Definitely not a great start on Bowser for Paratroopa. Oh, this is a good situation for Paratroopa. The three pillars, but the chain dropping in place. Is it going to be enough? Oh, enough oh, garbage set? That's the... it! The... <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. That's two matches in a row tonight. We've seen Kamek determine the outcome in game five, dude. Unbelievable. I can't believe it. <laughs> I can. You know what? I should just start expecting these things from here on out, dude. It is never over in the name of Tetris Attack. And Paratroopa makes the comeback. And he's going to knock Wired Wiki out of the tournament, man. What? What a series, dude. The man PB'd and still falls short. Para. That's unbelievable match, but it's actually believable. <clears throat> it's unbelievable and believable, the... dude. It's Tetris <laughs> yeah, Attack dude. is the full mixture of emotions, man. <laughs> oh, but wow. I, I'm in shock, dude. Paratroopa, I am so impressed with his tournament run so far. He has made his way into the top five of this tournament he was in a three-way tie in his group stage to barely make it out in the main bracket and this guy's making the most of his opportunities right now and well he's got a tough one ahead of him he's gonna be playing uh ffr pro as we'll flush the bracket pretty shortly here but nothing's impossible man i am a paratroopa believer Wait, what do you mean? I'm the one that said paratrooper. Well, now I know you picked him, but I he has made me a believer, dude. Like FFR Pro is definitely one of the most consistent uh, players throughout the past couple years, but this guy he does not want to go away, dude. And if there's gonna be any big upset that we've ever seen in the history of these tournaments, I think that's potentially what it could be there. Wow, man. What can I say more about that? That was just crazy match, dude. But yeah, we're gonna get both of the competitors in and get their thoughts on the series, dude. How how many game fives can we have in one tournament? Look at all these. Look at just the sheer amount of three O's in this bracket. We have a uh, 
to get both of the competitors in and get their Ooh. thoughts on this. Let me mute too. this because I hear I'm myself. Okay. <laughs> Sorry for the echo for a second, guys. But uh, yeah, look, look, just look at this bracket right now. We've had two three O's, or three three O's rather, just in the top side of that bracket. A couple three ones here and there, and a whole bunch of three twos, dude. It's like, it's been so unpredictable this tournament, and this is. With the past two, like, Puzzle League-oriented tournaments we've had, I think we're finally seeing the true nature of Tetris Attack and how uh, how hard it is for someone to predict the winner. I mean, Wiki, you're probably in here now and you can hear me. I cursed you. I picked you to win, so you can blame me afterward. <laughs> but We always blame you, don't you? Don't you? <laughs> that is true. <laughs> the standard thing here. But we got you both in. Uh, I'll start with you, Paired Trooper. First off, Congrats on this crazy series once again. You survived two game five series and <laughs> Just give me a general what was going through your head basically the entirety of this match oh, We might not be able to hear paratrooper right now actually I see yeah, paratrooper seems to be Yeah, muted. your your things lighting up and may not picking up not it may not yeah, be picking up the right mic in the meantime, while you solve that, we'll go ahead and talk to Wiki here to start. Uh, I'm going to try to remember specific things I want to talk about from this match, though. But uh, you came up a little bit short this time, man. You've gone to so many Game 5 sets, three in a row, these past three matches. Are, are your stress levels through the roof right now? Uh, I was expecting it to be worse. I think I've never... Um, I was sh literally shaking after that fourth game where I got that PB. I, I think that was the most nervous moment out of all the matches. Yeah, for sure, dude. I, I, I would agree with you in that instance. We can talk about that match because for the most part, we saw your caves very generous besides that Kamek that we won't talk about right now. But that game four, you just seem to have a grasp on the entirety of that run and... You said you felt nervous afterward. How were you feeling leading up to those last couple stage, uh, uh, the last couple cave stages, rather? Um, I actually was not. Uh, I actually thought I was not capable of getting a PB at that point anymore. So I, the only pressure I had was um, not getting kicked out of the tournament. But looking at my run, um, I thought it was pretty solid. I was like. If I just like play decent enough, I should be able to take it to game five. But I was I was I, I wasn't aware that I was actually in PB range at that point. And that's really that all can make the difference. I think that's why a lot of people get PBs in tournament because maybe they're not paying attention to their timer as much, focusing on their gameplay, and sometimes like just knowing that uh, like being in PB range, but that's not in your head you're just like I don't know less nervous I don't know how to describe it it kind of just helps you in the long run but yeah anyway serious congrats on that man we mentioned I think you moved up at least two spots on the leaderboard so if anything at least you can take that and I don't know if you're gonna still be grinding for the sub eight but that's probably a pretty good mark to leave the tournament on uh, I think I'm definitely go going to I've been grinding for that for a couple of weeks now and I just want to get that sub eight period i know i know it's in reach so for sure man well we'll come back to you in a little bit we got paratroopa his mic should hey. be working now yeah i hear you there we go anyways paratroopa you have been the true underdog story of this tournament yeah i would say the cinderella run is on officially now for sure he i've been impressed just with not only your gameplay your analytics outside of tournament which i've mentioned so many times you find yourself in the top five now, dude. How are you feeling? Yeah, that's crazy. Um, I'm really surprised, actually. I didn't think I'd make it this far. And you've taken down some really good names with a win in, against Devolution Derby and winners. Uh, losers taking out Wiki, obviously, here. Shadow. Not to mention you have a win over Cozy Pocket that was in group stage as well. So your resume yeah. is pretty big at this point. Yeah, I'm, I'm really surprised by how well that's turned out overall. Uh, I, boy, games, 
games one to three of this set, I played like rock solid. And then after that, I kind of got a little, I don't know if it was just nerves or something, but games four and five weren't quite as quite as good until that 12 second Piranha in game five, which was really the, the key, I think. Oh man, we were going nuts here on the commentary station because yeah, it, it seemed like, like for the most part, you were behind a lot and yeah. you just made these late game pushes to try to come back and it was, it, you just like composed yourself really well. Yeah, I don't know what about it. What it is about these races, but I just I tend to play my best games in races. I don't know if it's just the adrenaline, just the focus, just gets me going. I don't know what it is. The spirit of competition, I guess. For sure. Oh, yeah. that, that's me too. Yeah, I just love racing. What can I say? Me and Jake noticed something throughout basically all of your gameplay. It, we, oh, we're yeah. thinking you're a man of, I don't know, superstitions maybe. You pick Bumpty during a lot of your matches, <laughs> and we think you're lucky number seven because there are so many seven chains that come up on your boards. Oh, yeah. Um, well, I like to stop. Seven seems to be the right place to stop for safety purposes, at least. Like, that usually doesn't result in a bad, like, set, basically. Um, I don't like to go to eight because that's usually not necessary, except against Lockatoo, who sometimes you just need to drop as much as you can. Um, and yeah, like Bumpty, I don't know. I just, I think it's fun to change characters, I guess. Like I, I, it's almost kind of a mindset thing. Like I don't want to take it too seriously. Like if I can just be like, okay, I'm just going to pick Bumpty. Like that kind of like, like makes my nerves calm down a little bit. So I'm just like, yeah, whatever. For sure, man. I, I can totally agree. Sometimes the comfort pit, pick is just the best in the end. And well, it was a well-fought victory today. Now you got one of the big bosses in your way, our defending uh, yeah. champion, FFR Pro. How are you feeling about this match? Uh, I'm on house money. If I have to lose this one, I think I'm going to. That's fine. I'm yeah. totally cool with that. I'm just happy to be here. I'm going to be playing my best race, and we'll see how it goes. For sure. It's going to be a tall mountain to climb, but the, the one good oh, thing good for Lord. you is there's probably going to be no pressure for you. You made it past what you expected what a lot of other people expected oh by far and i thought i'd be like fourth in my group so you know that's that's uh, pretty good and maybe even putting a little bit more nerves on ffr because he has the potential of maybe finishing fifth as one of the favorites of this tournament and with someone <laughs> red hot as you're playing right now i would be scared if i was him yeah i mean uh yeah, I was watching him play, and I I cannot match his consistency as far as getting like sub twenty second kills. So he'll he'll need to like have a bad Kemek and like or Bowser, and if he gets up into that nine thirty to ten range, then I might be able to take a game off. It's possible. Anything can happen, and that's kind of just how this tournament goes. For sure, man. I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna focus attention back to Wiki. I don't have too much to say. But uh, actually, Jake, did you have any individual questions that you wanted to ask? Um, no, not really. You, you kind of covered them. Sure. All right. So we'll end it with this. I'll ask each one of you this. It's a little bit different. But Wiki, you're out of the tournament, man. Overall, how do you how do you feel like you played, and just any other experiences you'd like to share? Nah, I think overall, uh, especially since I'm pretty much a newcomer uh, in the community, I think overall I did well. Um, especially if you if you told me uh, at the beginning of the tournament that I would end up top eight, I would say like nah, nah, never. So I think for me that yeah, that was that's quite the achievement, uh, anyways. And uh, seeing how I've improved the past few weeks and today is showing with that PB, I think I can be uh, yeah, I can be really happy about what I achieved. For sure, man. I'd be in the same boat with you, but it's been a pleasure having you. And thanks for all the commentary sessions. I'm sure we'll still see you commentating a lot of the matches as we go on. And uh, just like all the close sets in general, man. It's It's been a pleasure having you. And Fair Troop, but kind of the same thing, though. You're still in the tournament, man. It just You've probably just been feeling good about this tournament experience the whole time. Uh, yeah, pretty much. It's been a lot of fun. I've, I've been working a lot on improving my game. Like, if you go back and watch my first set against uh, Edo Bean, like, the difference is night and day. Um, just just in terms of getting consistent, like, kills and, and versus style play, basically. For sure, man. Well, we wish you the best of luck in FFR yeah. Pro. And, well, we've seen a lot.